guys, it's Secretary back with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the camera I use for this channel currently and I have been using it for the past almost a month. If you couldn't tell already, it's the Canon 70D. The Canon 70D is great for photography and videography, especially vlogging and doing any photography. The sensor on the camera is an APS-C sized crop sensor which means you'll get less shallow depth of field which you could probably tell in the background it's not that shallow you have to zoom in more to get more of a compression and get more of a shallow depth of field unlike a full frame camera which will give you more blur but this camera does have a 20 megapixel sensor and it has decent amount of dynamic range but it's nothing extraordinary and this camera can shoot up to 1080p 30 frames per second and 720p 60 frames per second which is pretty average for a low-end DSLR even though this is a higher-end DSLR but it's from 2013. One thing that does make this camera great for YouTube and vlogging is its articulating display which articulates on the side and it has quite a high pixel density. It is also a touchscreen so it's really good, very easy to navigate through the menus as well because it's Canon menu system so very easy to navigate. Then this camera also has a mic input which is really good but I currently don't use it because I need to get like a mic that you could put on up there like a Rode or something. Currently I just use my BM800 connected to an audio interface but if I ever do need to there's always that option there. To top all of that off it has dual pixel autofocus which is the best autofocus system in the market currently. It's very fast, it's very accurate and it looks like a focus puller was actually doing it which is very good. The build quality on the camera is very good. It does have a decent amount of weight and feels very solid in the hand. Although it is made out of strong plastic, it is still reinforced by aluminium on the inside, which gives it that extra weight. This camera is also water resistant and it's also dust resistant as well. So as you can probably tell, I really do love this camera. It has everything I need in a camera, which is really good. And better still, it only costs around $400, which is what I picked up mine for, but usually you'll have to pay about $500. Yeah. It's quite good value for what you get. So who would I recommend this camera for? Well, I'd recommend it for someone who wants to do YouTube or likes photography, does photography, does vlogs. It's great for all those type of people or people who do both like me. So that's all from me, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, smash the like button. If you didn't, smash the dislike button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, remember to subscribe because it'll really help out the channel a lot. Peace.